shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake that healthy butt. Baby got ballet. It's Bobby with Real Military Wives TV, and normally I have something humorous for you or a little quirky or whatever. Um, but today I want to talk to you about something that is going on in my life right now. And I tend to learn my lessons the hard way, and I'm hoping that maybe a few of you can learn from my mistakes and you won't have to go through this either. Um, the, the two things I want to talk about kind of go hand in hand time and money. And, um, we always thought we had time to have money, if that makes any sense. My husband um, and I have been married since August of 1997. We had our first child in September of 1998. So 13 months after we were married, we had a baby. And we always thought that we have time to save. My husband was a lifer from the get-go. He knew he was going to do his 20 years. He was going to stay in until they kicked him out. Um, retirement, benefits, the whole nine yards, I mean it was just never a question. He was going to do his 20 years. I always thought I had time. We decided to have a large family. We now have three children and our oldest is 12 and our youngest is 6 and we honestly thought that we would have time to save. We thought we would have time to open a TSP, um, time to invest, time to put money in savings accounts. Um, and when you're a lower enlisted and you have a family, you know, you think, I can't afford to save. I need every penny I have. Uh, we had two kids in diapers. Um, my two boys are 24 months apart. Um, we really honestly needed every single penny, and sometimes we were broke before the next payday came along, and I was on the phone calling my mom. Um, but the reality of it is, is that it's not that you can't afford to, to save. It's that you can't afford not to save if that makes any sense. Um, and I'll tell you why in a second. In May of 2010, my husband left for a normal six-month deployment. It was deployment number seven. Things were going as planned. He left. We cried. The kids cried. As soon as the kids got out of school, you know, the kids and I and the dog, we took off for a road trip. We went to visit my mom, stayed with my mom, went on vacation with my mom, went to a family reunion, blah, 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 came home in August. And went out and bought my son all the things he needed for his boot camp. He was going to with Navy Sea Cadets. Bought school clothes for three kids because this was the first year we had three kids in school. And then I get a phone call. And it's that my husband's having chest pains. They fly him off the ship. They fly him to Germany. Next thing you know, in September, he's home. Um, so through a bunch of political mumbo jumbo that I'm not going to get into right now, um... Nine months later, uh, he's being discharged from the Navy. And um, all of those, you know, I, 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 we thought we had six years left. We thought we had six years for me to finish my bachelor's degree and get established into a career so that when he had his 20 and he retired, he could take his time and decide what civilian avenue he wanted to take. Um, we really honestly thought we had time. So... Here he is with 14 years in, we have three children still at home, and we're getting ready to move, and we have no savings, no significant savings. We don't have a TSP. Um, I still don't have my college degree, and um, yeah, so <laughs> we thought we had time, and now we don't. Things in life don't always go as planned. Um, even if you're putting $5 away a payday. What is that? That's one coffee at Starbucks. Um, think about your major purchases. Is that big screen TV really going to, you know, feed your family should something happen? Is that coach bag really going to feed your family? Is those Gucci shoes a good investment? Um, think about your purchases. And I know that a lot of E1s, E2s, E3s, E4s, they're living paycheck to paycheck. And, you know, just like us, they have families, and y you can't seem to save. But the one thing that we didn't do that we wish we would have done was, um, I know all branches offer it in the Navy. It's called uh, Fleet and Family Services. They have tons of financial classes. Tons of financial classes. They've got classes on how to buy a car, classes on your checking account, classes on, classes on investments, classes on how to buy a home. Um, 
take advantage of them. They're free. And um, remember, no matter what your five-year plan is, your 10-year plan is, your 20-year plan is, things happen. And it may not be that your husband gets sick. It may be that the Navy is downsizing. It may be that, um, you know, whatever the case is. If, if, I mean, the future wouldn't be the future if we could foresee it. So um, start building those savings accounts. Even if you go without that one Starbucks every payday, put that five bucks in a savings account and don't touch it. Don't put off your education. Whatever your personal goals are as a military spouse, do them. For me, it was, I have kids at home. I don't have a babysitter. Um, people would offer to babysit, but I didn't feel comfortable because I have trust issues. And I didn't want nobody else watching my children. I felt if I put my kids in daycare, I was paying somebody else to raise my children. And that wasn't the case. Hindsight is 20-20, people. Don't let my mistakes be your future.